I'd like to share with you one of the best remedies for a UTI, a urinary tract infection. Let's first cover the symptoms, burning upon urination, frequent urination, the urge to urinate when your bladder is empty, and also you might have abdominal pain, which is a little lower in your abdomen, lower back pain, blood in the urine, cloudy urine, or your urine has a bad odor. Now, as far as the microbe involved, 80% of the time, it's E. coli. UTIs are five times more common in women than men. And that has to do with the location of where your urethra is to the anal area. And so as far as anatomy goes, you have the two kidneys right here, which connect to these two little tubes right here. They're called ureters. And these tubes drain down into the bladder. And then you have an additional tube called the urethra. When you have a urinary tract infection, you can have an infection here, 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 or right in there. But the E. coli tend to want to survive. So they're going to form biofilms in the bladder, which is going to make it very difficult to attack because now they go underneath the radar. And this is why a lot of people, especially women, get recurrent UTIs over and over and over, especially the more antibiotics they take because these microbes now become resistant, which basically means they morph and they get smarter and they're harder to kill and these antibiotics don't work anymore. So the more antibiotics you take, the worse things get. So this is why you're watching this video to try something more natural. And one way to diagnose the UTI is a simple urine test. And you're looking for if there's high amounts of nitrates and leukocytes, which are white blood cells. There's also other tests that you can do to confirm it. Now, when people think UTI, they automatically go to cranberry juice um, and cranberry supplements. Um, that's been somewhat effective, but not very effective uh, because the cranberry tends to make the bacteria slide off and not stick to the inside of the bladder wall. So cranberry in general, I think is good for a preventative thing. And I'm talking about maybe cranberry pills, not the juice because there is some sugar in there. But typically once you have a UTI, cranberry juice doesn't really work that well. Okay, so what I'm gonna recommend is something that does work a lot better. It's a combination of oregano oil capsules as well as thyme capsules, okay? Now, both of these are pretty potent herbal natural antibiotics, specifically with this natural chemical in both of these plants called Carvacrol. And when you get the oregano, make sure it's at least 60% Carvacrol. And I would recommend taking at least 200 milligrams, at least, it could be more, four times per day of oregano oil. And as far as time, try to find something that's 500 milligrams, and you can take that once a day. Because this chemical in both of these plants inhibits biofilms. It also kills E. coli, the major microbe that's involved in this infection. I'm also going to recommend taking apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons and 16 ounces of water to drop your pH, to make your pH more acidic. If you're more acidic, there'll be less pathogenic microbes. The acid tends to inhibit the formation of these microbes. The other thing I'm going to recommend is to drink at least 2.5 liters of fluid a day. And of course, you can add that apple cider vinegar to this liquid because the more fluid you have, you can actually assist in help flushing out these microbes as you're killing them with these two things right here. There's also an optional step I would recommend, okay? Taking some natural diuretic. That way you can help to increase the, the flow of urine through these these channels through here. Asparagus is a really good natural uh, diuretic. Dandelion greens is another good natural uh, diuretic or potassium citrate, as in a lot of electrolytes. Okay, so that will help flush things out very nicely. Now, since we're on the topic of natural antibiotics, okay, and oregano oil, there's some additional information I think you'd be very interested in. I put that up right here. Check it out.